Hey folks, welcome back. This is the final video in the Prep, Set, and Go checklist. Step one. Now, if you're actually watching this video, congrats to you. I have a feeling a lot of folks are just going to skip past this because it you know, may be uh, considered a bit of a time waster. However, I think it's actually going to be a time saver for everybody because I'm going to show you a few tricks. And these tricks are this, the, the same things that a lot of folks don't do that cause them hours of hair pulling because they weren't uh, sort of doing some preventive maintenance and uh, troubleshooting prevention ahead of time. And it's just a few simple things. So let's get rolling on this, shall we? Now to do a test, we're going to go back to our editor. We're going to expand the library folder. We're going to expand the shared folder and open up the footer. And we're going to do what's called a copyright test, okay? We're actually going to be updating the copyright information here, and we're going to see that, um, make sure that it gets updated when we change it in our footer page. So, here is the troubleshooting prevention that I was talking about. Whenever you are editing a library page, one of the first things I always do is I find a page that uses that particular library page, and because the footer is used on every page in your site, you can pretty much preview any page you want in your browser. But I'm going to select the index page. I'm going to select it, I'm going to right click on it, and do the preview in, well, Firefox. That's my favorite browser. There it is right there. And I'm going to scroll on down to the very, very bottom of the page. Actually, I'm going to have to minimize this a little bit here so it fits in the video window. And we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom so we can actually see the copyright right here. Now, when I'm updating a library page, I open a page that has that in the browser, and I do this for a few reasons. One is I want to make sure that I'm seeing what my visitors will see when I make a change. I want to make sure it looks good, and I want to make sure it actually takes place. Okay, so popping back into our web editor now that we've got a page open, we're simply going to double click on the 20XX and type in 2013 and file save or control S on the keyboard. It should update. I'm just going to go right back to my web browser. I'm going to press the refresh button, and there it is, copyright 2013. Excellent. If it updates in here, it'll update in all my pages. I'm a happy camper. Now, if I go back to my web editor, the reason why I want to preview my page and go through these steps is if something didn't work, or if I typoed, like so, there it is, and I notice it when I'm in my page, I go, oops, that's wrong guaranteed this will happen to you. You can just quickly go back to your page, do a control Z or undo, edit, undo, control Z, and then start over again, 2013 instead of 2019, and save, just like so. Now, that's a pretty simple typo, but there are errors that, or things that happen, or could happen, that could have a much more detrimental effect. You could fat finger something, knock something right off the page, and suddenly when you preview your page, things are out of alignment and you don't know what you did. Well, all you have to do is go back to the page you're working on, hit the Control Z a couple times, save the page, go back, refresh. Did the page go back into alignment? Yes, it did. Okay, good. Well, then you go back to your library page and then you start over. Okay, this time just being maybe a little bit more cautious of what you're doing with your fingers on the keyboard. All right. Now, if you were to just make the change to the, the date down here, you know, 9-9, nine, nine, you save and you go, okay, I'm done. I close it down, right? And then I go back and later on somebody says, oh, hey, your date's out by like 199 years or whatever. You go, oh, man, well, you have to go back in, open up the, you know, Go back to your library page, go find and figure out where you made your change, open it up, and then go and change it. That's a whole lot easier if you just keep the page open to start with, save it, preview it, thumbs up, it works well, or you made an error, go back, control Z, and start over again. Okay? It's a lot easier to keep these things open and make your uh, checks and balances as you go as opposed to just closing it down. And I'll give you a really good example of uh, what. We, we would typically see in the support department, somebody would make a change to something in a menu page, for example. They would knock something, uh, an LI tag, a div tag, or something out of place by accident. They'd save, they would update their entire site, publish the site, and now there's something wonky on the actual live site. It just doesn't work. Something's thrown out of kilter, and now there's panic going on because they've broken their site. 
Uh, I've broken my site is a, a common thing to see in the uh, in the, the support or the tech world, or I've broken something. And simply previewing in a page locally, making sure things work. So if we were to be updating a menu page, for example, right, we would make sure that not only the changes we took that the typo was correct, but if we added a link to a new page, I'd go and I'd click on that link and make sure it took me to the right page, for example. So those are just some of the things you're going to want to do, and I'll, I'll talk about those um, consistently throughout our tutorial series here of sort of the checks and balances, uh, because one of the things that developers don't have a lot of time um, for is making errors, because you you project a certain amount of time to complete a project that's what you tell your client or customer how long it's going to take and any errors those are errors on your part not your client's part so it's just time right out of your pocket preventing those errors is a, a great way to save uh, you know save some uh, long days or long nights and uh, make sure that you deliver a nice quality product or, or end result and just on a final final note sometimes folks will say well I updated something and, and the test didn't work well what happens you may have had the page that you're previewing for example the index page you may have actually had it open and when you make a change to something in a library page and you save it it's going to update whatever pages you have open here right see how it updated down here right but it may require saving right you may have a little asterisk up here if there was a change made to the page, you may need to save or close this page first, then preview your changes in your web browser, okay?